So we can do some quick math here. I bought them for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I spent $30 on all these unicorns. And then I flipped them for 36, 9, 12, 15, 80. $180 for this first batch of unicorns. Now my friends, that is how you run a business. Keep your costs low, keep your profit margins high, pocket the rest and reinvest it into your business. Hi Cricketers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrie, and I am the author of Cricketer.com. I'm here to talk about how you can make money doing what you love, crafting from home with your Cricut machine. I started my own business a few years ago with the Cricut Explore Air 2. It wasn't until very recently that I upgraded to the Cricut Maker. So all of the projects that I'm sharing with you can be made with either the Cricut Explore Air 2 or the Cricut Maker. The Cricut Maker can make anything that the Cricut Explore Air 2 can and more. In some of my most recent videos, I've been going through my old Excel spreadsheets and looking at what I sold during my first few months in business and exactly how much money I made during those months in business. My first month in business, I made $705. My second month in business, I made $633. You can find both of those videos on my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna look at how much money I made during my third month in business and exactly what I sold. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for watching another one of my videos. I hope you find this information helpful. If you do, which I know you will, please click that like button. If you are new to my channel, I would love if you subscribed and left a comment below. I love growing our Cricut community and getting to know my followers. Come join my Facebook group called Cricketer Inspiration for Beginners and Pros. In that group, you can ask questions, share projects, and learn lots of new information. Also, make sure you click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my brand new videos. These simple things really help grow my channel and encourage me to keep making more content like this for you. So let's move over to my Excel spreadsheet and take a look at what I sold during my third month in business and how much money I was able to make. All right guys, so here we are in my Excel spreadsheet. We can see that the first item that I sold in November was one of my birth announcement elephants for $25. Um, the next item that I sold was a monogram frame with shipping for $45. So the monogram frames are usually sold for $35, shipping would have been 10, bringing that to $45. If you haven't seen how to make those, I talked about it in my last video. So check that out, I'll leave a card above. This is a photo of what the monogram frames looked like. This was my cheaper one, I sold for $25. I also had a more expensive one that I sold for $35 because the frame was bigger. Um, and it costs more money to buy. But I sold a lot of these during my first few months in business. After that came a doormat that I was selling for $35. This is what my doormats looked like. I got the blank doormats from Home Depot. They were about $10. And then I turned around and I sold them for $35. This may sound like a great profit, but there's also a lot of materials that go into making this project that you have to factor in. You have to buy paint and freezer paper. You need straight pins, um, a paintbrush, or a sponge. This was one of my more time consuming projects. I didn't really like making them because I don't like to paint. I was also making these during winter time. It was November and it was cold where I live, so I couldn't do this outside. I had to do it in my basement with the hatchway door open. I sold quite a few of these doormats during my first few months in business. In November, I also started selling personalized unicorns. I got these unicorns from Five Below and I sold them for $30 a piece. These were a great money maker, one of my favorite projects and they were really easy to make. Nobody else was selling them. It was very custom and unique. This was kind of like winning the lotto for me. <laughs> the lotto of Cricut projects. So I'm gonna show you what these looked like. These were the personalized unicorns that I was selling. I got them from Five Below and they came in three different colors, pink, white, and tie-dye. Unfortunately, I haven't seen these at Five Below in a long time, but they do get stuffed animals in all the time that are really cute. I just bought a unicorn yesterday actually at Five Below that I wanted to turn into a birth announcement project. 
I used glitter, iron-on vinyl, and a hand iron to make these. Um, it's really simple, didn't take much time at all. I also thought that they would make a great flower girl gift, so I used gold glitter iron-on vinyl and I wrote flower girl on it so I could advertise it for that as well. This was the first post that I made when I started selling them. I said, personalized glittery unicorns coming soon. Oh my God, I'm so excited to make these. Here's a sneak peek. Available in three colors, pink, white, and the tie-dye one my daughter is obsessed with. I started getting orders right away. Can you make one before the 10th? Uh, how much? I need one for my grandkids. Lots of nice reactions from people. This was the first batch that I got done. First batch is done and they're going fast. Get them before they're gone, $30. So we can do some quick math here. I bought them for five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I spent $30 on all these unicorns. And then I flipped them for 36, 9, 12, 15, 80. $180 for this first batch of unicorns. Now my friends, that is how you run a business. Keep your costs low, keep your profit margins high, pocket the rest and reinvest it into your business. People loved these personalized unicorns and I know exactly why. Because when I was growing up, I always wanted something with my name on it. I would go to Six Flags and I'd see all the mugs in their gift shop and they'd all have names on them. But my name is Carrie, which is a pretty unusual name and it's also spelled differently than most Carries I meet. So I could never find anything personalized anywhere. And now that's an even bigger problem for people because all of their children's names are a lot more unique than they used to be. Kids love stuffed animals. They love things with their name on it. It makes them feel special. These flew right off the shelves. After that came something called a mommy mug that I sold for $20. I'll show you what that looks like. So the customer who ordered this had seven kids and she wanted each of their names to be placed on the letter. So the way that I did this was I went into Cricut Design Space and I used a slice tool. First I wrote out the word mommy and then I wrote out the children's name. I put it over the letter and then I sliced it. This project is a little trickier and requires some skill, but it comes out very cute when it's done. I sold some more elephants, a meal plan board. This is a photo of what the meal plan board looked like. Um, the blank is a dry erase board from the Dollar Tree. Obviously only cost a buck. I turned around and flipped it for $12. I just added the family's name and designed this myself. There's magnets on the back. It already comes with the marker, so it's just a perfect little project to sell. I sold a bunch more unicorns, some kind of birthday shirt, more doormats. I also started selling these cookie mitts. These oven mitt gift sets are all from the Dollar Tree. So you can get the oven mitts in all different colors. Um, and I also bought these Betty Crocker mixes, brownies, cookies, all kinds of flavors. Um, trying to earn brownie points with a fudge brownie mix. Thanks for making me one smart cookie with the cookie mix. They also came with a rubber spatula, so it cost me $3 in materials for the mix, the oven mitt, and the spatula, and then I sold them for $10, so there's a $7 profit, plus the little bit of vinyl it takes. These were one of my best sellers. I sold tons and tons of these. They're great gifts for grandmas, teachers, anyone really. I also started selling my elves this month. It was right before Christmas, so we're talking November. These are what the elves looked like, and I have mentioned in some of my past videos about selling things with add-on items. So right here I have my elf cam. It's a glass bulb Christmas ornament. I glued a little washer from Home Depot onto the front so it looks like a camera. And then I used permanent vinyl to write elf cam or Santa cam. They were really cute. I sold a lot of them. Here's some more of the elves. More of the cookie mixes, unicorns, elves, monogram frames. This is all stuff that we've talked about. Right here I have a dog collar for $20. The dog collar started out as a personalized gift for somebody and then I just advertised them and got a few more sales. So I think that I got them from Bed Bath & Beyond and I just used iron-on vinyl to put the words onto it. 
and they're really cute. So this one says, nice Chester and naughty Ellie. And this is my dog sporting one of the bandanas. There are some more unicorns, a doormat, elephant, menu board, unicorn cookies. This is all stuff we've talked about. Some wine glasses, unicorn poop. So this is a unicorn poop that I was selling for $4. What unicorn poop is, it is rainbow colored marshmallows that are shaped like poop that the dollar store was selling for $1. So I turned around and I resold it for $4 as an add-on with my unicorns. I would tell people, hey, if you're interested, I also sell unicorn poop. It's rainbow marshmallows. All the kids love it. And a lot of people were really interested and they added it on. So you can see right here, I got four of them for $16. So the fact that I could take $5 worth of candy and turn it into $20 worth of profit was just such a cool thing. <laughs> Buy low, sell high. I sold a lot of these coffee mugs and wine glasses for dogs. This is what they looked like. So I had Dog Mama, Stay Positive, Paws Off My Wine. I was selling these for, it looks like $8 a piece. And I sold quite a few of those. More unicorns, elves, and this wraps up all of November. So we can do some math here in Excel, equal sum, parentheses. We're gonna go up to here, highlight them all, down to here, close the bracket, equals. I made $1,339 in my third month in business. So that is pretty much double what I was making in all of the other months. It looks like this was a really good month for me, which doesn't surprise me because it was getting close to Christmas. Let's take a look at how much of stuff I sold individually. So for elephants, I sold one, two, three, four, So it looks like I sold four elephants. What about these unicorns? I know I sold a lot of unicorns. We have one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, there's actually two here, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I sold 20 unicorns. <laughs> So I sold 20 unicorns during my third month in business at $30 a piece. 20 times 30 is $600. I made $600 off these unicorns. So I made $600, but we have to take into consideration how much I spent. They were $5 a piece and I bought 20 of them. So I spent $100 in materials, made $600. So I profited $500 off of these unicorns. That is pretty incredible to me. Let's check out Five Below's website and see what they have for stuffed animals right now. So it looks like they have some kind of corgi puppy dog, unicorn ice cream cone, PJ Masks, that's super popular. I bet people would buy these with their kids' names on them. This is kind of cool because they have a lot of these Disney characters, which people would love. Blue's Clues, Lion King, dinosaurs. Oh, look at these unicorns. Oh my God. So these are pretty much exactly what you're looking for guys right here. They're a little different than the ones that I was selling, but they are really cute and very, very similar and only five bucks. So you could try selling these in your area. I mean, I obviously did well when I was selling them and it looks like they still have them in stock in all the different colors, which a lot of times they don't, they sell out really fast. So they have a good selection right now. 
more dinosaurs. Five Below is where it's at. They also have these rainbow kitties. I bought these in the past, the white ones. Um, about a year ago, my cat got hit by a car and killed. It was so sad and tragic and my kids were heartbroken. And to help comfort them, I bought one of these rainbow unicorn kitties. And I told my kids that when you die, you have to cross over the rainbow bridge. And this thing has a big, beautiful rainbow tail. Um, I personalized it and my kids slept with it every night for months. It really helped them with their grieving process. If you want to be successful with your Cricut business, you need to think outside of the box. Some people might go to the store and see this and just see it as a, you know, a unicorn cat. But I thought memorial gifts, birthday gifts, flower girl gifts, you have to get creative. I love Five Below for shopping for blanks. They have so many really good ones. If you haven't seen one of my videos, um, I have a Five Below Cricut haul video and I go over all kinds of things that I love to buy from Five Below. I am so surprised that they have these unicorns in stock right now. And dinosaurs are so great for boys. And like this has a big open belly. You could personalize here along the back. Lots of options. All right guys, so that wraps up this video. You can see I made $1,339 in my third month in business. I showed you exactly what I sold how many of them I sold, how much I sold them for. Most of these were local pickup only. So this is without shipping costs. I did pretty well, I'd say. That wraps up this video, guys. I wanna thank you for watching another one of my videos. Um, if you found some helpful information, project ideas that you wanna bring to your own store, please like this video, comment below. Any kind of engagement with my channel really helps the YouTube algorithm think that I'm awesome and push my content out to more people, which will ultimately help my small business grow. If you help grow my channel, I'll help grow your business by bringing more great ideas to you guys. Thanks for watching and make sure your notifications are turned on so you can be notified when I post my next video.